Ujeswati Nimelwe Uzalwagabush. Jesus said, You must be born again. Lapage si funda Momuntu Waba Farisi Ikamalakelu Nikodemu. Here we read about a man who was a Pharisee, Nicodemus. A teacher of Israel. Manje Agu Shuguti Ube Mfundi Sinje Wakwa Israel. Kwapa Uyena Mfundi Swakwa Israel. Kushuguta Geko Obe Mkuru Gunaye Uyena. It doesn't say here that he was a teacher of Israel, but rather that he was the teacher of Israel. In other words, he taught everybody in Israel. There was no one in Israel of a spiritually higher stature than him in teaching Israel. He was the most important one. He comes here to Jesus at night. Some ask, why should he have come at night? Was he afraid of people that might have seen him with Jesus? But I personally don't quite like that interpretation. I think rather that it's because he who was the teacher of Israel, he who was the most educated in the things of Israel, that he wanted an opportunity with Jesus all alone. There was something in his heart that troubled him. He wanted the opportunity to sit down with Jesus alone to talk to him. And have ample time to discuss with Jesus alone with him. For he had a question on his heart. He wanted to discuss something that was very profound with Jesus. And as a highly educated person, full of wisdom, he wanted to ask Jesus the question he had. Forty. He was respected by everyone because of his importance. 
Futi ngisho na kuloku kwa simsabini. Umlando uti. Uyena ubengo yetwa kubanda batatu. Aba izikwili enkulu kwa Israeli. History tells us that he was also one of the, the three most richest people in Israel. He was Ian van the three richest men in Israel. Kushuguti noma enemali noma neskunda noma shakan pile kunabantu bonke noma en Engum Farisi Omkulu Eses Kundlin Sokina Begusakona Okchulile Abenga Kondi Abefunuguti Aktole. But despite being the richest, most wise, most highly respected man, there was still something deep that he did not understand. And he just felt within him that there was something that was important that he didn't yet understand. Noma ngabanes kunda esikulu, noma upage mega kulu kunabanya bandu, gege kukwenelise wena. Besege ube noktula na kogonke. You see, even if you are very rich, you are highly respected, you are very important highly educated, but that will not satisfy. Kukona futi akungaba zegi, uguti kukonu kunyabe funukuz wa kujis. And there is no doubt that there was something that he wanted to hear from Jesus himself. Sesi mfikake, Eseli no Jesu bebotwa. Ebuza u Jesu imibuzo. So here we find him sitting with Jesus, alone with him, asking him questions. U Jesu ke owazi bonka bandu. O konda yo naloko kusenchi zwe ni omundu. Ngoba tina singafisha. Ngotai, ngengu bezi nse, nangu farisa, nangu kuzenzi isa, izi nto. Otu akukona, ujesu ya bona, ogunga paka, tenshizwe ni yako. Nomu kulumo kunye ngomlomo, kutu ujesu ya iboni nshizi o yako. We might try and bluff our way. We might pretend, we might be pharisaical and have an outward show, but Jesus understands and he knows exactly what's in the heart. Even if you are able to speak flowery words of eloquence, but Jesus knows if there's something else in the heart. So when Jesus meets with him, Nukunkulunkulu nukuti, unkulunkulu nawe, 
ngoba akekho umuntu ngenzi msebenzi oyenzayo wena nezimanga esiyibonayo and nicodemus tells him we know you are from god for no one can do what you do unless you are sent from god unikodemu ujesu wathi kuye ngiqinisile ngiqinisile ngithi kuwe uma ungazalwanga kabusha ngeke ubona umbuso wangkulunkulu Jesus responds by saying truly truly i say to you unless you are born again you cannot see the kingdom of god nyakubona lokho ukuthi akekho umuntu noma ungaba muhle ukhulume ngokukholwa uzenze umuntu ophelele kodwa ngeke ungene zolwini umungazalwanga kabusha do you see that even if you can use the right christian language make the right impression but if you are not born again you will never enter the kingdom of heaven kwamdida izo ukuthi ube hlanphile kunabantu bonke engumfundisi wabafundisi kwathi kodwa umuntu angazalwa kanjani ngokwesibili na that confused nicodemus wondering why it how is that possible that a person can be born again even though he was so wise and highly respected he could not understand this uma umuntu esemdala angabuya angene swini sikanina azalwe futhi he asked what an old person can he then enter into his mother's womb and be born again tina singathi how umuntu ongahla ohlanphe kangaka angakhuluma kanjani isimansumane sinje we might say how can such an educated person the teacher of israel speak such nonsense uyabona noma uhlakanile noma uphiwe la emlonyeni u unoma ufundisiwe kunabantu bonke uhlakanile unesikhundla esiphakene meyo ngeke usizwe ikona ukuzungena ezulwini You see even if you have all the christian eloquence there is you're highly respected you're a teacher yourself that you appear to know everything but if you are not born again you won't you cannot use these things to enter into heaven with kwamdida that confused him evangeli lisimanga ibhayibhele lisho kweni indawo unkulunkulu wakufihla wakufihlela abantu abahlanphile kodwa wakwambulela abantu abayizingane this is amazing god says in another place that he has hidden these things from the wise and revealed them to the babes kutwa salvation is not by education but by revelation it was hidden to him ausindiswa ngemfundo kodwa ngokwembulwa kodwa lokhu lezi zinto zazifihlwa kuyena ujesu wayisithi ngiqinisile ngiqinisile ngithi kuwe uma umuntu engazalwanga ngamanzi nangomoya akakwazi ukungena embusweni kaNkulunkulu and jesus said truly truly i say to you that unless a man is born again of the spirit and of water he cannot enter god's kingdom abanye umabezwa manzi bagijimela embajadisweni 
bathi kuyilapho ke bezalwa kabusha some people as soon as they hear the word water their mind jumps to the conclusion that he must be referring to baptism therefore a person must be baptized no that is not in this context you cannot be baptized and therefore become a new person a thief can go into the waters and he'll come out of them still a thief it's not speaking about water as we know it which we sometimes water is symbolic of the holy spirit like for instance when jesus said if any man drinks of this water he will thirst again but if anyone drinks of the water i shall give him he will receive that which will flow like a fountain from his innermost being. And there he was speaking about the Holy Spirit. And then, then the word water is sometimes used in the context of the word of God. So if it speaks about being born of water, it means rather than that you are born of the word of God. Jesus said to his disciples, he said to them you are already washed by the word which I have spoken to you so the word of God washes and it refers then to the word being that water as Jesus said you are washed by the words I have spoken to you stay away from thinking that water in this case must mean baptism either by the sprinkling of infant baptism or by adult baptism it's neither Instead, it is the word of God which brings about new birth by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And therefore, do not be amazed if I say to you, you must be born again. And a person might be confused and say, how so? 
Jesus spoke in symbolic terms. Illustrating with wind, saying, Look at the wind, it blows where it wishes. And you feel the wind, but you don't know where it comes from or where it's going to. Some people today might say, but we just go straight to the internet and we can calculate where the wind is coming from and where the wind is going to. They might be correct sometimes, but at other times, meteorologists can be totally incorrect. They don't really know where the wind where the source is from and where exactly it ends. Many things there are that we do not understand, but they exist. A person may not understand how a black cow eats green grass and then gives white milk, and from that you can get cheese and things like an ice cream. So Nicodemus's question was, how can it be? Though he had much knowledge and knew a lot about things in this world, but this confused him and he asked Jesus, How can it be? And so Jesus asks him, how can you be the teacher of Israel, teaching everyone, and yet you don't understand this? What in Kinsil and Kinsil, Tina, Sikulumang as it was Sifarazang as it was Zio, Esak Bonayo, Gotani Mugeli, Uktanda Zagwit, Ukulumagwit. And he said, Verily, we speak of things that we know, uh, but you do not receive that which we say. Utreswa is city Umangin Jela. And so he said, if I speak to you of things in this world that you do not understand, how will you ever understand the things of heaven? Saying no one has gone from here into heaven. Except the one that descended from heaven, the Son of Man. 
Kushukuti unikuti mwawe zwa izi ndabezi nja. Watola isi fundo esi kulu. So Nicodemus heard brand new things and was taught a very important lesson. Watige ujesu. Yabona nikutim. Njengo uba umusi. Waipagami sinyo kesani. Kanjalo. Indota na yomundu umelu kutipagani iswe. Uguba ilo okuluma okolu anguye. Abe nukpilo kupagate. And he said, look Nicodemus, just as the serpent of Moses was lifted up in the desert and healed those who looked to it, so to the Son of Man must be lifted up so that those who believe in him might be saved. Remember that this was something spoken by Nicodemus. A very important person, an authoritative speak, uh, person in the whole of Israel. Rich and and one who was highly exalted in the faith. But he was still not satisfied. That's why he comes to Jesus and asks these profound questions. And Jesus marveled, saying, But Nicodemus, you who are a teacher of teachers, how can it be that you don't understand these things? So highly educated. Wapasa. Having passed everything. But here was something that confused him. That's what it's like when we meet with Jesus. So that night, Nicodemus received a lesson that he had never been taught and had never known before. Jesus revealing things of heaven and how to enter heaven. Saying, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the, in the desert.